if you like Sean Connery, you should definitely watch our picks for his best movies. You have the manners of a goat, and you smell like a dung heap, and you have no knowledge whatsoever of your potential. Now, get out! We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments, and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good movie again. Number 10. Dr. No, 1962. I admire your luck, Mr. Bond. James Bond. Dr. No is a 1962 spy film directed by Terence Young and stars Sean Connery, Ursula Andress, Joseph Wiseman, and Jack Lord. Kicking off the beloved James Bond franchise, Dr. No features the world's first ever 007 agent, James Bond, on the big screen and an action-packed ride filled with charming characters and brilliant humor. When the agent comes across the mysterious Dr. No, who might plan to destroy the U.S.'s space program, he is sent on a mission around the globe to hunt down the mysterious shadow. Now they can both pay for their mistake. World domination, that same old dream. Our asylums are full of people who think they're Napoleon or God. Number 9. A Bridge Too Far, 1977. I've got lunatics laughing at me from the woods. My original plan has been scuppered now that the jeeps haven't arrived. A Bridge Too Far is a 1977 epic war film directed by Richard Attenborough and stars Dirk Bogard, James Caan, Michael Caine, Sean Connery, Anthony Hopkins, and Robert Redford. This epic yet extremely intimate war movie is set during the 1944 war era, when American and British allies planned to take the highway over the Netherlands right into Germany to finally end the war. But when the leading generals enter the enemy territory, they soon must face the fact that they may have been overconfident. Do you really believe that any of that can be helped <laughs> by a cup of tea? Couldn't hear it, sir. Number 8. The Rock, 1996. Well, my, I'm Stanley Goodspeed. But of course you are. Well, at least he got his name right. The Rock is a 1996 action thriller film directed by Michael Bay and stars Sean Connery, Nicolas Cage, and Ed Harris. This action-packed and extremely ballsy ride features a brilliant buddy dynamic led by a FBI chemical warfare expert and a former British spy. When the two unlikely mates are ordered to stop a dangerous chemical attack on San Francisco, they soon find themselves surrounded by enemies and abandoned by crew, friends, and teams. Now, it's two men fighting an army. In point of fact, I am a field agent, Mr. Mason. Really? Yes. In which field? Anti-terrorism. Then you're trained in weaponry, explosives, and mortal combat. Number 7. From Russia with Love, 1963. So what's our problem, sir? Oh, I can't risk sticking this through the customs at the Yugoslav Trias border. From Russia with Love is a 1963 spy film directed by Terence Young and stars Sean Connery, Pedro Armendariz, Lodi Lenya, and Daniela Bianchi. As the second installment of the beloved James Bond franchise, From Russia with Love offers a huge variety of electrifying action scenes and charming characters. This time, your favorite spy finds himself on the hunt for a mysterious crime organization that may or may not have the world's fate in its hands, leading him onto a track of violence and shootouts around the world. What was it? The stuff you put in a drink? Chloral hydrate. Quick but mild. And? Take it easy, R7. Number 6. The Hunt for Red October, 1990. Well, the captain seems to think you're some sort of cowboy. New Parosky. The Hunt for Red October is a 1990 submarine spy thriller film directed by John McTiernan and stars Sean Connery, Alec Baldwin, Scott Glenn, James Earl Jones, and Sam Neill. Empowered by a brilliant submarine action and thrilling suspense, The Hunt for Red October features Red Submarine Captain Marco Ramius, who dismisses his orders and heads directly to the U.S. coast. Believing that his newest technology is invisible to the enemy, he soon finds himself haunted by American officer Jack Ryan. A battle of two men unwilling to give up begins. What gives you the right to fire on my ship? 
Your signal said nothing of a torpedo. Ryan? It was necessary to maintain the illusion for your crew. Number five. The Name of the Rose, 1986. He jumped. Adzo, are you paying attention? Yes. The Name of the Rose is a 1986 Italian-German-French historical drama directed by Jean-Jacques Anaud and stars Sean Connery, Christian Slater, and F. Murray Abraham. This story of truth and lie, as well as ego and belief, follows several monks in the 14th century who are ordered to investigate a mysterious death that had occurred in an abbey. Using his powers to identify the suspected murderer, Monk William is soon set on a hard test when his nemesis is sent to observe his investigations. You mean that he committed suicide? Yes. Why else would someone go up there at night in the middle of a hailstorm, hmm? Certainly not to admire the landscape. No. Perhaps... Perhaps someone murdered him. Number four. The Man Who Would Be King, 1975. He wants to know, are you gods? Not gods, Englishmen, which is the next best thing. La Avatar, La Devta. The Man Who Would Be King is a 1975 adventure film directed by John Huston and stars Sean Connery, Michael Caine, Saeed Joffrey, and Christopher Plummer. This beautiful yet incredibly honest story follows two burned-out military officers stationed in India. Tired of being soldiers and a routine life of violence and order, the two go on a trip to a lonely island. But when a series of misunderstandings leads the natives to believe that one of them is a god, a lie is created that threatens to crumble very soon. I oft times tell Uther about Englishmen, how they give names to dogs and take off hats to women and march into battle left, right, left, right with rifles on their shoulders. Bringing enlightenment to the darker regions of the earth. Number three. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, 1989. Junior? Yes, sir. It is you, Junior. Don't call me that, please. Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade is a 1989 fantasy and film directed by Steven Spielberg and starring Sean Connery, Harrison Ford, and Allison Doody. Indiana Jones gets a diary sent from his father containing clues and a map to find the mysterious Holy Grail. When he also hears from a private collector about the disappearance of his father, Indiana Jones goes on an adventure to Italy to find him. In the course of this pursuit, Jones finds himself up against Adolf Hitler's Nazis to hinder them from getting the powers of the Holy Grail. You have the diary in your pocket. <laughs> you don't. Do you think my son would be that stupid that he would bring my diary all the way back here? <laughs> you didn't, did you? Number two, The Untouchables, 1987. And then what are you prepared to do? If you open the ball on these people, Mr. Nash, you must be prepared to go all the way. Released in 1987, The Untouchables is based on a book of the same name. It is one of the rare movies in which Robert De Niro and Sean Connery appear together. Other main leads include Kevin Costner, Charles Martin Smith, and Andy Garcia. The movie is about the federal agent Elliot Ness, who sets out to stop the ruthless Chicago gangster Al Capone during the era of prohibition of United States. Directed by Brian De Palma, The Untouchables is considered to be one of the best crime movies of all time. I want to get Capone. I don't know how to get him. Want to get Capone? Here's how you get him. He pulls a knife, you pull a gun. He sends one of yours to the hospital, you send one of his to the morgue. That's the Chicago way. And that's how you get Capone. Before we unveil movie number one, here are a few honorable mentions. You ever entered one of those? Writing contest? Yeah. Hmm. Once. A long time ago. Did you win? Well, of course I won. Like money or something? The Pulitzer. I would like a suit of clothes. And why not indeed? We are the oldest gentleman's tailor in Scotland. Well then, I've come to the right place since I am, without a doubt, the oldest gentleman in Scotland. Well, if uh, you say so, sir. I've told you the light from the sitting room bothers me. Well, we certainly can't have anything bothering you, can we? If you don't want to go to bed, please get out. But I do want to go to bed, Marnie. I very much want to go to bed. Number one. 
Goldfinger, 1964. Don't you think it's time we got to know each other socially? Well, the new Miss Galore. Where do you hide your gold knuckles in this outfit? Goldfinger is a 1964 spy film directed by Guy Hamilton and stars Sean Connery, Honor Blackman, and Gert Frobe, defining the series that would become one of the most important icons of modern pop culture. Goldfinger is the 007 entry that brought the fancy gadgets and the infamous martini quotes. We follow the world's best agent on the hunt for a notorious villain who tries to make the world's economy collapse on a raid of Fort Knox. I thought I'd find you in good hands. Felix! Felix, how are you? Dink, meet Felix Leiter. Hello. Felix, say hello to Dink. Hi, Dink. Dink, say goodbye to Felix. Hmm? Uh, man talk. Hey, they come back. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular movie in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 movie videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.